hey guys welcome to this uh video in our power query editor series over at data with dominic today we're going to be looking at how to use the remove rows functionality in the power query editor so let's dive right into the demo so i'm using a uh, power bi desktop on windows to be able to access uh, the power query editor for free there's a link in my description if you want to download power bi desktop on windows and now i'm just going to import some data some sample data from an old data feed just for you to work on so i've got the link ready it's a sample northwind database which is uh, one of microsoft's uh, sample data sets or data bases mainly used for sql warehousing purposes and stuff but for this case i'm just going to uh, show you how power query editor works using this particular uh, sample data set so I'm just loading one table for now because that should be enough to give you an idea of the remove rows functionality in Power Query Editor. Alright, so we've got the Power Query Editor loaded up. Now that it's loaded up, we can see we have the query or the table completely displayed. And in the Home tab, that's where we can find the remove rows functionality. So the remove rows functionality is basically the antithesis of the keep rows and what it allows you to do is to choose the rows that you want to remove and there's a number of options for this. You can remove the top rows, you can remove bottom rows, you can remove alternate rows, uh, remove duplicates, remove blank rows, remove errors. Yeah, so that's basically how it works. So if I want to give you guys uh, a basic idea how I could proceed so that you understand quite clearly is I'm going to first give this customer ID an index all right so how we do that is we go to add column and then we do index column from one so as you can see we've got this new index I'm going to move that to the position one Alright, so here we go. We've got uh, the index at position 1. So I've put an index is just so you get a clear idea of the rows as they are now before we've done any of the remove rows transformations. So now let's get into the remove rows. Go back to the home tab. And first we're going to try removing the top rows. So as the name suggests, suppose we wanted to remove the top 5 rows. Let's see how that works. The index is 1 to 5 should disappear. So that's happened as expected. Let's cancel that out. Now let's try removing the bottom rows. So this. Yeah, it will be tough for us to tell, but because we are only previewing 91 rows, but uh, as the name suggests, it would remove, let's say, the bottom 100. Yeah, because there were 91 rows in this preview, that's what's happened. So if we did remove bottom rows and we did, say, 90 or uh, 89, only two rows should remain. Yeah that's also working as expected we cancel that out and then now we can test remove alternate rows first row one number of rows to remove could be let's keep it around 45 45 okay so that's not worked out correctly let's try that again remove alternate rows this first row to remove row one one number of rows to keep on okay so this is what's happening basically uh from after the first row is removed or uh, like it it you can sort of specify the interval that you want the first row is this first fill in the blank is just the option from where you want to start removing 
but from the second one onwards it is about the interval so after that uh, how many rows should be removed in each gap and how many rows should be kept in each gap so we're going to start from one or maybe we can start from two so the first row is kept so let's see how that works yeah so now it's working as expected one is kept two is removed uh three is kept four is removed five is kept yeah so it's alternate and if you wanted the gap to be two after specifying you could then maybe change the second to fill second two uh, text boxes to two and two then the gap you would keep and remove would be two so that's how the remove rows works and we've got some more advanced functionality as well uh, with remove duplicate rows which means exactly uh, rows which have exact duplicate values in the selected column or selected group of columns if you've uh, selected multiple of them then those rows will be removed and then we've got remove blank rows also very important and we've got remove errors so if there are any errors or nulls uh, in the currently selected columns or group of columns then those rows will be removed so it's quite a powerful tool which you will be using often in the power query editor so that's it for this one thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe share comment and hit the bell icon and we'll see you in the next one